Warning, this is not a plug and play tactic. This is a recreation and a tactic that takes time to build and cultivate into your team. Viewer discretion is advised. Now let's get on to the tactic test. Hello everybody, Tucker Jobs, and this is Tactic Testing. So this tactic here, the Sari Ball, obviously you can tell which manager uh, the recreations this is from. Uh, the creator is called Bora Boy. Obviously you should check him out. Is uh, I've put a link to his YouTube in his description. Obviously he's on my Discord as well. So if you do end up asking questions about this uh, about this tactic, about certain ways to improve it maybe, or, or just asking general questions, obviously give him a shout upon the Discord because I'm hoping he will answer you and tell you questions and answer about it um, and also check out his YouTube obviously he's got a more theoretical video of this tactic um, so you might find that interesting to go in conjunction with obviously this test as well so uh, let's get on with the player instructions and all the instructions for the tactic just in case you can't download it if you can download it go in the description it will send you to the discord and the tactic is on there um, so let's get started then with the deep line forward inside forward left Winger right, the Mozilla, box to box midfielder, the Register, right, that's the specialist position on this tactical right, a bit more of an aggressive deep line forward, unpredictable um, passes, and um, obviously they get forward a little bit more, bit of a possession orientated deep line playmaker role, uh, the Register, and then wing back left, wing back right, ball playing defender left, central defender right, and the sweeper keeper, set piece instructions, corners, uh, defending right, and left and attacking left and right and then obviously your taker is um, aiming for the near post and if we go to free kicks defending right and left and attacking left and right and then obviously that's a mixed taker there small chance shot right and left and there you're aiming mixed again uh, and then indirect deep right uh, left sorry and right and that is actually short and then deep, indirect, right and left. Uh, that's mixed for you there. Throwing instructions, defending right and left. And attacking left and right. And as you can see, he's using the Beowulf 442 um, throwing instructions, which obviously the work a lot of people have used them. So it's, it's pretty good to incorporate, obviously, things that work into the set pieces. It really helps them out. Um, so yeah, that's it for the uh, set pieces and individuals, right then. So positive mentality. In possession, you're looking at a very narrow attacking width with focus play through the middle and play out defence. Much shorter passing directness with a slightly lower tempo, never on the time wasting, low crosses in the final third, work ball into box and dribble less. In transition, counter press and counter. Uh, and your goalkeeper's, goalkeeper's instruction is to slow the pace down so obviously everyone gets back into position and uh, distribute to the playmaker and take short kicks as well. And then out of possession, using the offside trap with a high line of engagement, a higher defensive line, force opposition outside, uh, more urgent press intensity with prevent short goalkeeper distribution, and stay on feet instruction is on. Mm. Let's see a lot of them. So, uh, yeah, the teams that are taking part in the test, obviously PSG, St. Etienne, Napoli, Verona, Watford, Huddersfield, and Accrington Stanley. A uh, couple of varied teams there. And I should stress, once again, guys, you watch the start of the video. This is not a plug and play. All right, he spoke to me about this tactic. This is a tactic that you work with over a period of time. Uh, once your players are in certain positions, once you've got a team familiarity up, once everyone is slotted in nicely, along with the training, because there is training for it, that hopefully um, I should be able to get a hold of that uh, from Bora Boy himself. Uh, it, all makes, it all makes a whole system to play with. All right, not just in and done. Play. Play nurture hopefully have fun watching the sari ball recreation um so yeah that's uh that's the teams obviously i'm not going to go through all of the selected teams because all i do is pretty much go pick without restriction best 11 so you can do whatever you want okay uh so that's the tactic that's the instructions they're the teams let's go to the end of the season to have a look at all the results right then welcome back everybody so here is the prime example of um, a system that you need to work with that you need to buy certain players for because PSG yeah of how powerful they are with this Sarri ball tactic came second they came second so I'm not going to be too mad or too upset about it because I've already said I spoke to the bloke himself and it's it's all about 
wanting a certain style of play. Obviously, you know who Sarri is, um, used to manage Napoli. And um, yeah, it's more of, do you want, do you like the style? Do you like the way he plays? Do you want to play that way with your team? Because uh, if you do, it is a system that will work once you've integrated players into certain roles that all complement each other, that all work well with the system, with the tactic, and, uh, and, and it will show, obviously, the fruits of your labour once, uh, once, you've, once you've worked on it, basically. All right, so let's get on with the uh, results anyway. And I just wanted to warn you, remember, it's not a plug and play. <laughs> uh, PSG then, they came second. Obviously, it didn't help that Marseille had a stormer of a season. 93 points, 61 goal difference, the same as PSG. And then St. Etienne, they were predicted ninth. They did not do very well. They came 14th. They just couldn't um, come to grips with the tactic, obviously. But I'm sure in the future, once you start bringing players into the team, it'll be pretty fine. Um, and also the human manager as well. All right, this is holiday testing. This is simulator testing. Uh, it can change massively by a player um, playing every game and obviously changing little things in match uh, just to help everything get along. Um, so yeah, let's start with PSGs then, competitions. So, European Champions Cup got to the quarterfinal, knocked out by Juventus, uh, but they did win the French Cup, and in the final it would be Marseille 2-0, and then Trophy says Champions, they lost out to Marseille 1-0 there. So they still managed to get a little bit of silverware. You probably expect more when it's PSG, but I stress, it's not a plug and play. You gotta work on it, guys. You gotta work on it. Let's go to the squad then. Right, so that's not bad. That's not bad. Considering that technically PSG coming second is not good. Average rating wise, that's not bad. All right, that's a lot of players in the greens there. Uh, best player was Neymar, 18 goals, 21 assists, playing on that left hand side. Um, obviously, the biggest goals was Acardi and Bappe and Neymar all getting double digits. All right, 44, 20, and 18. Biggest creators in the team, Neymar and Bappe and um, Benat, 21, 9, and 8. So Neymar. Love the inside forward role on that left-hand side. That's the majority of um, of the positions, obviously, that he played in for the whole of the season. So, yeah, not bad when it comes to average ratings and numbers. It's realistic. Everyone likes realistic, all right? People have an opinion about certain tactics where they think it's unrealistic. It's not ever going to be used in the real game. I don't want to use it, and those numbers are daft. Well, this might be one for you, then. Okay, um, so let's go to the team report. And then, okay, so general performance is still very well done. All right, 2.18 goals per game. Expected goals per game, you're conceding less. All right, it might just be the team because they are fantastic. Uh, if we go to the analyst report and have a look at the scoring, uh, aggressive and clinical right up there. Obviously, look at Leon straight up there. Nice, and Marseille clinical as out. Um, and then if we go to the conceding, uh, we are still quite and impenetrable. So it's doing well in those areas. It's just that obviously the team uh, above us did very well. Uh, and then obviously it's about having your team get accustomed to the tactic, the training. Obviously the training wasn't involved in the test because I haven't not made available to me. But it will be available to you if you decide to download this tactic and if I can get Bora Boy to upload the tactic schedule onto the, uh, onto the Discord. Um, so let's have a look at the full stats then. Uh, 119 goals, not too bad considering you've got a deep line forward. And then 35 goals conceded. Uh, in, in just the league, it's 83 goals uh, scored, which was the second best, and only 22 conceded, uh, which was the best. So nice one there for PSG. All right, St. Etienne now then. So they did underperform massively, unfortunately. Okay, they were predicted ninth, came 14th. Uh, we've had a look, obviously, at the top threes uh, for for uh, PSG uh, looking at their team but none of their players really got into the top threes Saint Etienne it was all about Icardi, Neymar, Benat, Neymar, Neymar and Navas obviously you can see it all there um, so let's go with the competitions then for Saint Etienne French Cup semi-final that's not too bad and it was PSG that actually knocked them out uh, so if we go to the squad so considering that they finished pretty low obviously a lot low, lower than their prediction it was still a fair number of players getting some decent average ratings uh, best player was Budabuz and then uh, if we look at the goal scorers yeah Kazari is the only one is the only one getting double digits all right 10 goals for him yeah so not worked massively great has it no numbers are low you can understand all right you just chucked a system at them that's not we, we've already established it's not a proven plug and play it's not it's not meant to work like that it's meant to 
meant to make you enjoy the visuals and the uh, and the graphics obviously watching watching the match themselves and the way they play and um, if you like the way sari plays that is so yeah let's go to the team report then so not too bad obviously the conceding per game is a little bit low all right considering on the averages but everywhere else you're actually pretty high up past completion ratio as well guys 92.65 percent that is not bad at all all right it's, it's very i don't really a lot of times see that pointing that far out normally it's actually just on the ends of the averages or just under right? so pass completion is 92 percent over the course of the whole season not bad at all and this report scoring you are passive and clinical so you're not getting a lot of shots on but the ones that you are getting on at least uh, the percentages are actually going in and then conceding if we have a look here we are quiet and leaky so at least we are not busy and leaky okay we're uh we're obviously conceding a few but they're not getting a lot of shots against us so let's go then to the full numbers for saint etienne 50 goals and 58 conceded oh that would be hard to watch that would be hard to watch um oh. don't use it with saint etienne is probably my advice for the first season yeah not good not good it probably explains why they're in a such a low position for the team that they are um so anyway next up let's go to napoli and verona uh, in italy let's see how they did and okay so all right this one's a little bit more um optimistic a little bit more positive on this one because at the end of the day all right napoli didn't win no but napoli are predicted third they came second verona predicted 17th came 10th improvement all around top threes uh, you got Rui and demarco both from napoli and verona coming second and third on average rating uh demarco again coming second on the assist with 11 and then uh, ospina for obviously napoli goalkeeper getting 19 clean sheets coming third uh, so let's first go with napoli then competitions runners up of the italian super cup lost out to juventus 3-2 in the final uh, italian cup quarterfinals got knocked out by lazio and then euro cup knocked out in the group stages so no silverware no win of the league but second place is not a bad position. Only six points behind Juventus. You know how powerful Juventus are this season. They've got such a great squad. Uh, if we go to the players, once again, a lot of players getting some decent average ratings or above seven in the greens. That's what you want. Your best player being Rui. Um, zero and six for him. Biggest goal scorers, uh, Mertens and, um, yeah, him. Victor Ozyman. Oz Is it Ozyman? All right. They're just chucking H in there just to... Just to distract me don't they <laughs> uh, 20 and 14 biggest creators uh politano and uh demi demi oh well nine and seven team report on a whole all right goals per game is a little bit low 1.65 you're still above the averages but normally on tactics I, I, I normally see big points here um but expected goals against per game is so high it, it, that's that's good 0 0.66 is good all right that's not bad at all shots per game is obviously still beating the averages pass completion uh, completion ratio 93.15 percent awesome Oh, the pass completion for this tactic looks absolutely insane, guys, by the way. Um, if we go to analytic report, um, scoring, aggressive and clinical, all right, and then conceding, uh, we are quiet and impenetrable. The full numbers then for Napoli was 78 goals scored and 39 conceded. That's a little bit better, a little bit lacking on the goals scored, but that, that's probably the deep line forward kind of situation going off there and um, so if we have actually a look at the league it was 62 goals scored which is the third best and 25 goals conceded which was the second best there so verona verona were the underdogs they were predicted 17th they were predicted pretty much nearly far from relegation they came 10th nice and comfortable um would you say they were close to getting seventh maybe european qualification two no no <laughs> there were 12 14 points off seventh place so they were probably in the right area. Uh, tenth place is a good finish. Uh, we've obviously seen the players in the top threes competitions. Knocked out in the first round by Sassuolo. Uh, so they didn't get any silverware, obviously. Uh, and then if we have a look at the squad. 
not bad. You've got a few players obviously getting some decent ratings with your best player being DeMarco. Uh, three goals, 12 assists. Biggest goal scorers was Colley and Kalinic. Um, 11 and 11 for both of them too. And then biggest creator of the team was obviously that DeMarco with 12. The rest of them getting all under 10. Team report. Ooh. So once again, once again, the pass completion ratio is insane. All right. So I'm, it's probably going to be on my thumbnail. All right. Pass completion, insane video tactic. Not a plug and play. <laughs> Um, everywhere else is not too bad obviously the goals per game is low the conceded is obviously a little bit higher than averages but at the end of the day you are an underdog you are predicted to fight against relegation pretty much and um, you can't really moan when they're a little bit worse off than the rest of the league but past completion guys over 90 percent once again awesome job next team is no not next team is analyst report there we go. Scoring, passive and clinical. And the uh, defensive efficiency were just knocked into the busy and leaky, which is unfortunate. The full stats is uh, 58 goals, 60 conceded. So once again, we've conceded more than we've scored. Um, oh, you don't want to see it. You don't want to see it, but the pass completion ratio just looks absolutely incredible at the minute. So yeah, work on your players. Work on who fits into what role obviously you will come it will come to a point when you get a good tactic a good tactical it working anyway it's a working tactic for the players that you have um so next up then watford and huddersfield watford and huddersfield are in the championship how did they do oh yeah well here we go here we go so yes watford are predicted first and they still came second they still got promotion which is a good sign huddersfield a little bit low they are 14th but they were predicted 21st. They were predicted pretty much like Verona, nearly fighting relegation. So you got to take that as a massive positive. Um, there were literally one more game. They could have come up to 12th, a couple more games. It was pretty tight in that central area of the, uh, of the league, to be fair, all the way up to maybe eighth place. Um, so let's have a look at the top threes. Anyway, is uh, Watford, 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 Watford. They're all Watford players. Cleverly, Messina, Cleverly, Buendia, and Cleverly. Oh, not Buendia. Why did I say Buendia? That's Norwich. Uh, and Force, uh, Foster, obviously, all belong to Norwich. Um, Cleverly doing pretty well across the board. 7.44, 21 assists, 9 uh, player of the matches. Foster getting 19 clean sheets. So, yeah, Watford actually did very well using this tactic. If we have a look at the competitions for Watford, FA Cup and Carabao Cup both got knocked out by Crystal Palace and Man City. Uh, let's have a look at the squad. To be fair, I was probably expecting better. I was. I was because they're a top team. Um, but 7.41 is a great average rating for Cleverly. Uh, six goals and 22 assists. Biggest goal scorers, Dini, Pedro, Saar. 14, 12, 11. And those two are obviously on loan. Biggest creators was Cleverly, 22. Whoa, well done, Cleverly. Absolutely amazing. No doubt he would have played in that central role. Uh, midfielder, centre and left as well. So yeah, he would have played mid at center would he have played as the mozilla i think he would have played as the mozilla i love the mozilla role very powerful uh, in my opinion such a good role to utilize and eat at least one anyway i don't know about two the ones that played two in the center i don't mm, mm, just one just one will do um so let's have a look at the team report then not bad once again Pass completion rate, 92%, guys. <laughs> and everywhere else above, is above expectations uh, as well. So, nice one there. Uh, analyst report. Scoring, you are in the aggressive and wasteful. So, you're getting the shots on, guys. They're just not going in. They're just not going in. Conceding, uh, quiet and leaky. And then if we have a look at the full stats, 77 goals, 52 conceded. At least we did not concede more than we scored. That is all that matters now. That is all that matters in this Sari Ball recreation tactic by Bora Boy. Remember to go in the description, check out his YouTube channel and his video and the video on the Sari Ball himself um, on the tactic because it's more of a theoretical side to the actual tactic testing. Okay, so check it out. Make sure you do. Uh, let's go to the full um home game sorry the league games so 72 goals scored which is the fifth best in the league and uh, goals conceded was 50 which is the uh, fourth best 
So next up then, Huddersfield. Huddersfield were underdogs. Not bad 14th place finish, all right? I've always said it's not going to be an overpowering cheat tactic. Well, I won't say cheat tactic. They just work, don't they? Cheat tactics is a strong word. Just to, you find the advantages against the match engine. You know what works, and that's what people utilize. So, yeah, it's not going to be one of them. It's never going to be one of them. Uh, I've got to stress how much, again. And that's why I'm saying it so much during this video. So you do not download this tactic. And it not work great for you in the first season and you have a massive uproar why this is rubbish this is crap it's a recreation this is a system that works over the course of a few seasons to get good um and to enjoy football manager and enjoy the graphics so um, yeah, let's have a look at the competitions for Huddersfield then. Carabao Cup, FA Cup, third round and third round knocked out by both Burnley and Southampton squad uh, okay, not too bad. Only obviously five players getting in the average green ratings green. So uh, Toffolo is three goals, ten assists. He was your best player. Biggest goal scorers, uh, Menza and Diakabi. All right, 11 and 10. And then biggest assists creating a team. <laughs> Toffolo and Pritchard, 10 and 10 for both of them. Um, if we have a look at the team report, yeah, once again, that's what that's what all I'm looking at now. That is all I'm looking at. It's past completion ratio, 91.59%. Well done. Tackles one ratio is high as well. Everywhere else, not bad. Not bad. Considering you are the underdog fight and relegation, uh, in the predictions that is, you are on the higher ends of all the averages in, in the uh, Scarbet Championship. So, that's not too bad, is it? Uh, Analyst report. Let's have a look. Scoring, attacking efficiency. We are passive and clinical. And then conceding, we are also quiet and leaky, which is not too bad considering who you are. Full stats. 69 goals and 72 conceded. So once again, you've conceded more than you scored, which is never, ever a nice thing to see throughout the whole of the season. Um, but you finished in a good position. You finished in a good position. And no doubt, a lot of those goals have come from the big teams obviously taking out a lot of goals against you and you just gotta accept it sometimes you might lose five nil against norwich but at the end of the day you are the underdog okay um and then let's uh, have a look at the league uh 65 goals scored which was the ninth best and 68 conceded which is the seventh worst finally we are in the lower lower leagues now well not lower lower leagues but uh league one okay with atkins and stanley um so they came 13th not bad considering they are predicted 21st once again they are predicted to get relegated so coming 13th is a massive plus once again 64 points and yeah there's look at that six points between us and eighth place not a lot is there top threes is just summer um getting third in the average ratings with 7.2 no other players in there if we have a look at the competitions for accrington uh, fa cup carabao cup obviously you're not going to win those um, you got knocked out by portsmouth and chelsea as well uh, and the papa john's trophy knocked out in this northern section uh, if we have a look at the squad only four players getting decent average ratings summer being the best with two goals 7.21 goals Conville, all right, 13 goals and 10, and uh, Ryan Cassidy, 9 and 4, uh, and then biggest creative senior team with them, um, Conville and Uwakwi. Tarek Uwakwi. I think I said that one right. I've got to have. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it wasn't outstanding, but all I'm looking for now is past completion. Was, oh no, they haven't got an analyst. Well, let's just presume. Their pass completion was 93%. <laughs> Full stats, um, 69 goals. 69 is a good number. And uh, 75 conceded. Such a shame that they didn't get um, a decent pass. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, if we have a look here, we can see that in every competition, passes succeeded and attempted, it's actually 90%. So I'm taking that. We've got another 90, guys. Are we having it? We're having it. We're having it. So that is the Sari Ball Recreation by Bora Boy. I've already said check out his YouTube in the description. There is a link. Go to it. Watch the video. If you love it, you subscribe and you leave a like to him. Uh, and then you can also talk to him on my Discord as well if you join that. That is also in the description um, with along with the tactic as well. And hopefully, we can all chat together about how... Uh, uh, the first season using this tactic was, oh, no. And then the second season, a little bit better. 
third season are better fourth season better because you're you're building you're building something special guys <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah this is the Saru Ball I am Tucker Jobs this was Tactic Test and hopefully you enjoyed the video it wasn't as overpowering as devil like as the other ones but I still had fun doing it you still have fun doing it obviously of course you do I wouldn't be doing the videos if I didn't um, so yeah hopefully you subscribe and like the video leave a comment as well and uh, chat to us on discord so see you when I see you bye